Today I'm just going to show you a really quick way to make an ebook using Google Slides. So if you're looking for a way to make ebooks with your students uh, towards the end of the year or throughout the year if they're writing stories or if you want to have them collaborate on a book together, it's really easy to do it while you are in Google Slides. So a quick thing to do if you don't want the slide settings, you can go ahead and change the page. So you're going to go down to page setup and then you want to change it from widescreen to custom. That way then if you choose to print your book when you're done with it, it's going to be the right sizing. So we're going to change this to like a normal page that we're going to print. We're going to change it to an eight by 11. So that way it prints nicely. Again, if you want to do other sizes, you can absolutely do that and put more than one page. You can do that. We're going to go ahead and apply and right away it is flipped to an eight by 11 piece of paper. And then from there, you're going to have all of the editing that you can normally do um, within a Google slide. So you can title of your book, you can put your author and they can type in their name right there. And then they have all the freedom to change background colors. So if we want to change a background, we can swap it out to a color. Maybe we want to add um, different images to it. Students may want to take their own pictures and upload those. They might want to be able to change their font. They can do all of that right super easy within their Google Slides. So just like editing that you would do with students in your classroom. So we're gonna have our title of our book easy enough. Then we're gonna just go ahead and move forward with our next pages. Maybe students are gonna have text on the top and they're gonna add images towards the bottom. Another thing you can do is if you have students in a younger grade that you would like to have draw their pictures, like physically draw them, they can type the text into the top and leave the space below. When you're printing it, the students can just draw their own pictures right into it. Also, if you want to add shapes in there or arrows or any of that stuff, you can absolutely draw those shapes right in there. And you can take out your text boxes and edit just the way you would with normal Google Docs or Google Slides. So if we're going to swap out, we got different shapes. Maybe they want to put a diagram in there, an explanation. They can do that. And just keep on adding pages like you would while you're creating a normal slideshow. But now you've got it in the format of an ebook. So students, you can click on share and they can add collaborators. So if you want to type in other students, you can do so. If you want to have several students within a group or an entire class, each person could be working on a page. They can do that as well. When they're done, they can share it digitally or they can download it or they can print it. And right away, you have a very quick book put together within Google Slides, very easy to share. You can create the template as a teacher or you can have students create their own and it's an easy way to do it.